Hey everyone, today we finish Lamentations with the final words from the book. But you, O Lord, reign forever. Your throne endures to all generations. Why have you forgotten us completely? Why have you forsaken us these many days? Restore us to yourself, O Lord, that we may be restored. Renew our days as of old. Unless you have utterly rejected us and are angry with us beyond measure. <laughs> That's how the book ends. Uh, I guess we shouldn't be surprised that Lamentations ends on kind of a downer note. But I think these are powerful words that, that maybe do speak to many of us. Do you feel forgotten right now? Are you wondering what God is up to, if anything? Are you doubting that anyone is listening to your prayers? Perhaps there's some comfort in knowing that those very concerns are recorded in Scripture. Something that seems so unbiblical is in the Bible. A lament, as we see here and in many places through Scripture, it, it's the language of a real relationship. If you can't say something like this, then what kind of relationship do you really have? You know, we see in our relationships that one predictor of divorce is if a couple will never fight, never argue. And so when these people are arguing with God and saying these things that, that seem so harsh, it's because they care about that relationship and they want there to, to be a real presence and a real connection with God. In my mind, to ask God if God's really there is an act of faith. Because if you really thought God wasn't, you wouldn't bother asking. I do actually hear hope in these final words from this book. They ask if God has resentfully rejected them forever in a way that makes space for God to say, of course not. So, today, what kind of faith do you have? Maybe your faith is always strong, and, and that's great. Um, but maybe sometimes it sounds a little more like lamentations. Do you have enough trust in God to say this to God's face, even when God's face seems to be turned away?